Hello WP Glossy Readers. In this video tutorial, let me tell you how to design a simple landing page for your ebook download like this by using the best page builder for WordPress, Elementor Pro. First, log into your WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor template section and click add new template. A pop-up window will open up and here you need to choose the type of the template and name it. Here I am choosing page in template type and naming the template as ebook landing page and clicking create template. See this is how the Elementor Pro page builder settings look like. First you need to go to the basic settings to select the page layout. There you have the option to pick default full width Elementor Canvas and now I am choosing Elementor Canvas layout and it has no header and footer, just the design section. When you choose full width layout, you can add header and footer for your landing page. And now let's start creating the ebook landing page with the Canvas layout. Go to the settings. First you will get the color settings for primary, secondary, text and accent to choose your preferred color. Likewise, you will also get the font options for primary headline and its weight. The same font settings are available for secondary headline, body text and accent and you may pick the right one of your choice. Now, let's go to the design section and click the plus button to select your structure like single column, two column or any number of columns you want. In that layout you can pick boxed or full width and at the top you can see three settings layout, style and advanced. Go to the style section to change the background color for that particular section while setting up the color you can see the light changes on the right side now I'm adding the heading section by dragging and dropping the heading element at the top of the structure you can add the title and align it wherever you want right or right left side and I am aligning the title to the center of the page. Now go to the style section to make the style for your font by changing its color, family, size and typographic preferences like weight, decoration, line height, letter spacing and much more customization settings. I am changing the line height and you can see I am decreasing the letter spacing. This is the primary benefit of this front end visual page builder. And now I am going to add some shadow effects to the text. You can see how I am executing the shadow effects to the text and if you need any help just ask me through the comment section I'll make the things clear. Elementor Pro is a very user friendly page builder and I have almost done the heading section. You can give some uh, motion effects like fade in, fade out or move the text from left to right or right to left, zoom in or anything to grab the attention of your readers. You will also get the options like bounce in, light speed in as the motion effects for the heading text and you can control the speed as well. There are several other options available for the motion effects. You may have a look at these options and pick the best one. Now 
click the publish button and have a look at the page that you have designed. Next, I'm going to add a two column design to add some tips or summary about the ebook in the text form. Before creating this section, it's better to add some space to get a well ordered look. I'm just dragging and dropping the space element next to the heading section and changing the padding width to 20. <clears throat> now, let's start creating the two column section. Click the plus button and choose two column structure to add the text on one side and the image on the other side. Add heading by dragging and dropping the heading element and here I am naming the heading as affiliate marketing tips and setting the heading tag as h3. Now go to the element section pick the text editor element to put below the heading to add some text in it. You may consider it as an example. Just I am adding 10 points in the text field. Now you can use the style tab to do all other customizations like alignment, changing the text color, typography, columns and the space between them. Here, I am changing the line height in the typography. You can see when I am modifying the line height, it gives an organized look to the page. Now, in the right side section, I am going to add an image. For that, Click the element settings, just drag and drop the image element to the right side of the design. Now you have to choose the image for the ebook from the media library and change its size through the WordPress default image settings like medium, thumbnail, custom or any size. You can also change the width of the two sections and make them visually fit. Here you can see the extreme flexibility of Elementor Pro. After setting up everything, you have to click update and have a look at the landing page design for your ebook with the newly created sections. Adding motion effects make your presentation livelier and more memorable. Uh, here I am adding a motion effect. It has several options, several effects. So you may add your desired animated option. After you have done the, all the customizations, click update. Your settings will be saved and you may look at the demo. Let's go to the next settings. Like we did before, you may add the space element and if you don't want, you may leave it without adding, no issues. Now I am going to include an opt-in form section in the ebook landing page. For that, I'm clicking the plus symbol to add the two column structure, one for text, and other to include the form. Starting with the color option and I am picking the orange color for the email opt-in. Then I am dragging and dropping the text editor element on the left side to add the text. Now I am changing the color through the style option. The same I have done for the previous sections and I am showing you the font size. You may also change the line height 
font weight or whatever you want you can do everything in the setting options for every particular section you will get the setup options on the left side see you can alternate the alignment settings as well now I'm going to add the form element to the right side of the design I'm just dragging and dropping the form and you can see it looks like a contact form however I only need the email subscription form and hence I am removing the unessential fields and keeping only the email field for my visitor to subscribe as we are offering the ebook for download I am adding the button text as download now now you have to integrate the email service provider and for example I am adding MailChimp service and it is asking me to provide the API key you can find find the API key from your uh, MailChimp account section after uh, entering the API key all your information will automatically fetched and when your audience enter their email contact to download your ebook then the contacts will be saved in your email marketing account And now you can uh, see how the ebook landing page look like with the opt-in form that you have added now I, I would like to add some space and dragging and dropping the space element as a next section I'm going to incorporate the FAQ section to make the things clear so that the readers would like to download the ebook without any hesitation it's just an idea uh, adding the FAQ section uh, would be a better option so I'm picking only one structure for dragging and dropping the heading element and I am adding the title for the FAQ section and aligning it as the center center alignment now I am putting a divider it's just a line for a better look To add the question and answers in a better way, I am choosing the two column structure now. You can add the questions with the help of the heading element. Here I am setting the questions under the heading tags and changing its typo typography for improved appearance. <coughs> now adding the text element to write the answer for the question. I'm just filling the space with the dummy content. You may add your own text while designing the page. And on the right side, I'm following the same. Making the question under the H3 tag, changing its size, adding the text element to include the answers. If you could see the settings, you will understand how I am uh, customizing the page and if you need any help you may ask me in the comment section I'll try to solve your concerns to include few more questions I am adding the heading and text element again on both the columns so like this you may add unlimited elements 
and this is the major benefit of the premium page builder with the elementor widgets available on the left side you can create anything in an unlimited manner and this is the reason for recommending the premium page builder and you will get the excess of design control here when you go for the free version the features will be limited and you will not get the complete customization control to create the landing page as you like you can see how I am making the FAQ section easily by just dragging and dropping the essential elements and adding some text in it after you complete the settings just hit update to save the settings and now just have a look at the updated page with the FAQ section and yes it really came out well before getting into the other section I would always suggest you to add some space for improved presentation and now I am going to end up the ebook landing page design with the footer section for this I am picking the single column layout the color of the section can be changed through the style settings and here I am using the advanced settings and increasing the padding level to tweak the look of the design as you have seen most of the footer contains the social follow buttons and I am putting the same widgets here you can add the social follow links and change their official colors to something attractive here I am changing the color to red and now I would like to add the copyright details for that I am dragging and dropping the text element and writing the text and now I am changing its color and alignment in the widget section I have found the nav element text to offer a good guidance for your visitors to travel your website from the landing page and few more interesting options are also available to improve the user experience you may just have a look at the widgets and use them according to your vision requirements now finally I am saving all the settings by clicking the update button you can see the final result it's a simple landing page for a ebook download and you can change every aspect of the design as per your need and audience taste. Thanks for watching.